This looks a bit like a train station, but it's not, and it never was. I'm here in Margate, it's about 20 kilometers away from where the, the old Hobart train station used to be. When it stopped taking passengers in 1978, this locomotive was put on the back of a truck and brought down here, placed by the side of the road where it's a sort of a kind of tourist attraction, a, you know, a Fugazi because inside the hearts of a lot of people, there's a romantic vision of the past that some people would like to return to when trains still were the king form of transportation. Now it looks like I'm standing on a new road or some sort of construction site and it is those things but I'm also standing on the ruins of the Hobart train station. If you go to very old cities like Rome or Athens you'll find lots of old buildings that have been torn down and restructured into new things and the same is true in Hobart where the old train station has been repurposed into the headquarters of the ABC. The terminus was built in 1878 by the Tasmanian Mainline Railway Company. Five years later, trains began to move between Hobart and Launceston. This cut the travel time down from 18 hours by coach to seven hours. At their peak, in the 1930s, steam trains ran from Claremont to the CBD in 20 minutes. Increasingly, the lines were used for hauling cargo, but in 1950, the Hobart Terminus was optimistically modernised. Those in charge had aspirations for how trains would be used by commuters, but by the 1970s, that dream began to wither. As roads got better and cars became cheaper, the locomotives were relegated and the proposition became uneconomic. Today everything looks completely different. Where the lines were, that piece of land is now dissected by the start of the Tasman Highway and beyond that where the old shunting yard was is the development purgatory Macquarie Point. To get a better idea of what the train line looked like in its heyday, you have to follow the tracks as they dissect through Hobart all the way to the outer reaches of the further suburbs of the town. And when you get there, you'll find a monument. This building behind me in Granton is the last best preserved station house in Greater Hobart. It's fairly indicative of what most of the train stations look like outside of the main one in, in Hobart proper. The building is surrounded by barbed wire, covered in graffiti and filled with dust. There haven't been any passengers here for a long time and there probably never will be again. Here in Newtown, there's this mural on the wall and it's actually, and it's actually one of the last reminders, you know, it's been painted there pretty recently, but it is a reminder of the trains that used to go along the corridor. All the stations, they're all gone. Even the foundations they were built on are turning, turning to dust at the moment. The tracks themselves are rusted and warped. And, uh, you know, the, the, all, the, all that's left now is a memory. In a panoramic shot of Hobart in 1858, it shows what the place looked like before the central train station was built. 
back before trains even existed in Tasmania. For decades after people stopped buying tickets, freight continued to run. In 2014, this also ended. Since then, no trains have entered or exited Hobart. Lasting a bit over a century, they now belong to history.